Hello, welcome back. So let's continue. Uh, let's start with a remark. If A has a zero row or a zero column, then the determinant of A is zero. It says why? Well, it's not hard to see when you have a zero row, for example, then when you do the cofactor expansion along that row, you have zero times cofactor plus zero times cofactor plus keep going. So the, the result will be zero. Now, let's look at theorem 6.1.3. The determinant of a triangular matrix, upper or lower, both cases, or a diagonal matrix, is the product of the entries on its main diagonal. Okay, so triangular matrix, diagonal matrix is the product of the entries in the main diagonal. Good. So look at, for example, this upper triangular matrix right here. Okay or look at this lower triangular matrix, or look at this diagonal matrix. In all these three cases, the result is just multiply the entries in the main diagonal to evaluate the determinant. Okay, let's, let's prove this in one case, basically a very special case, the upper triangular case in a three by three matrix. So we have A11, A12, a13, 0, A22, A23, 0, 0, A33. Good. Let's do cofactor expansion along the first row. Or, I'm sorry, let's do cofactor expansion along the first column. Okay, so what do we get? We get you see this is plus, minus, plus. Did that doesn't matter, you will see why. Then you get A11 times determinant of. Remove the first row, the first column. What do you get? You get A2. You get A22, A23, and then zero, and then A33. So you see, the idea is you end up with another determinant, smaller, but it's still upper triangular. Okay, let me highlight that. So still, this is upper triangular. Good. And then I don't write the, the rest of the terms because you have a zero here, you have a zero here. That's why the rest of the terms will get canceled. So now you have A11, and then this is a two by two matrix. You multiply A22, A33, A22, A33, minus zero, because this product becomes zero. So you see the answer is just multiply the entries in the main diagonal right here. Okay, good. Now, let's look at this example. Example 6.1.6. .6. Evaluate this determinant. If you see here, this matrix is indeed, we have a zero entries here, or let me do the opposite. So this is upper triangular. That's why the, this determinant equals this product of the entries in the main diagonal. Okay, so the answer is just two times 20, 40. Okay, now theorem 6.1.4. Let A be a square matrix, then the determinant of A transpose equals the determinant of A. This is a very interesting result, will be, which will be used later. Okay, this, this is kind of a sketch of proof. Since the rows of A transpose are the columns of A, evaluating the cofactor expansion along the first row of A transpose equals evaluating the cofactor expansion along the first column of A. 
because you're switching rows and columns. Anyways, now let's talk about this remark, which says the determinant of the identity matrix is one. Why? Well, the identity matrix is a diagonal matrix. That's why its determinant is the product of the entries in the main diagonal, which are all equal to one. Good. Now, let's start the subsection 6.1.3. Okay, in this section, we want to learn a new technique for evaluating determinant, uh, the determinant of only three by three matrices. Only three by three, be careful. Okay, how do we do that? Well, whenever a three by three matrix is given and you're supposed to calculate the determinant, just copy the first two columns of the matrix right here. So A, D, G, and then B, E, H. And then you will have three kind of main diagonals, one right here, one right here, one right here. And also you have three non-main diagonals right here. And then what, what you do is you multiply these elements. This one is A, E, I. This one is B, F, G. This one is C, D, H. And you add them. And also on top, you multiply G, E, C. H, F, A. I, D, B. And then the answer is just the, the values we computed in the main diagonal by multiplying the entries in the main diagonals. Be careful, the bottom one basically, minus the number on top. You see, this is kind of similar to two by two matrix. Main diagonal product of the entries minus non-main diagonal product of entries. I mean, the entries in the non-main diagonal. Anyways, this is a new technique. We don't prove it, but if you're interested, you can just search. Let's compute the determinant of this three by three matrix in example 6.1.7 using this new technique. So let's copy here two, five, six, then three, one, two, and then we just look at this, oops, this one, this one, this one, and then minus, we multiply these, okay? So what we get is, here in the bottom you get two times one times four plus three times zero times six. I write the details, you don't have to. Minus one times five times two. And on top we have six times one times minus one. And then two times zero times two. And then four times five times three. Just write the answer right here. So you get eight, this one is zero. This one is zero. And then we get minus 10. Eight minus 10 is, uh, let me write that, minus 10, minus, and then on top you have negative six uh, plus 60. Okay, and then the answer is just, uh, so eight minus 10 minus two, then this is just 60 minus six, 54 minus 54, so minus 52. Sorry, minus 56, because the other is also negative. Good. Now, this is a new technique that can be used 
to evaluate the determinant of only three by three. Be so careful. Okay, that's enough for today. And have a good day or good evening.